My name is Al Kags. Um, I'm 39 years old and I am the founder and executive director of the Open Institute. Uh, but I'm a serial entrepreneur who has invested in multiple uh, companies in Kenya and a few other places. I hesitate to say that uh, I have done anything with the education that I got um, in terms of I went to the University of Mauritius to do project management um, um, and I have been to a few other places for different small courses but um, I hesitate to say that that is what my career has turned out to be because what I, I am currently doing is I am running a non-profit that um, is working with governments to try and, and figure out how they can be more transparent and accountable uh, to um, the world. Um, I am a Mandela Washington Fellow among the first cohort, which was a program that was organized by um, uh, President Barack Obama back in 2014 um, that was supposed to sort of build uh, young African leaders. Um, and in that program what they did is that they attached us to Arizona State University um, to sort of build our capacity as leaders. I think my greatest achievement is that uh, we have started the process of setting up in Ghana um, as an organization, so that's a, that's a happy thing for us. Um, we have grown um, exponentially um, in terms of the programs that we're doing. Um, when we started, we were only doing small programs um, that were serving um, sort of small villages and small communities. Um, today we are working in all 47 counties with all 47 uh, county governments. Um, so we feel that that is a, a significant achievement on our part. You know, when we were starting out, um, both when I was starting out the Open Institute, but also when we were starting out um, several of the other businesses, um, the one thing that we found so difficult was to find starting capital and to find people who believed in what we were doing because what we have been doing is different, is off the, the normal beaten path. We are not selling products, we are selling social good and selling social good is a really hard thing to do. Um, one of the companies that I founded called Telesico, which is a marketing uh, business, um, in those days we were really trying to sort of build a business that does marketing communications for NGOs and for um, the social sector and you find that those people don't really spend money on communications um, so nobody would back us. Um, Ten years down the line we're happy that you know the company is, is a going concern um, in many countries in Africa with um, clients such as uh, the US government, clients such as uh, the UN, Mozilla um, and various others across the continent, not just here. I'm still a writer at heart, so um, I published my first book in 2009 called Living Memories. It's a, story, it's a series of stories told by um, people who were young in the 1930s, 40s and 50s. Um, and what I wanted to know from them is how do you, how was life then? In, in, you know, we know the life of the people who we read in the news, the tomboyers, the Kenyatas, the Hari Thukus and so on. But we don't actually know what, how just your grandparents, my grandparents, how they lived. Um, and so I went out and sought out um, many uh, grandparents and just asked them to tell me stories about the age and I wrote some of those stories in Living Memories. Um, and my passion is just to try and figure out how I can continue to write, how I can find the time to continue to write. Young people are 77% of Kenya and 77% of Africa. Um, if there was one message that I would give to young people is, look, it doesn't come easy. You see people who have cars, you see people who have houses, you see people who have made it. Unless they stole it, it didn't come easy. Um, if they speak to um, a lot of entrepreneurs, they will hear gruesome stories of times when people um, walked long distances to work because they couldn't afford bus fare. They will hear stories of people um, hiding from landlords um, because of the fact that they're late to their rent, you know, those sort of things. And that's where people have come from to, uh, 
um, eventually have a company that actually makes that kind of sense. So um, if I was to tell any young person something, I'd say start something, but when you start it, see it through. It's going to get hard, it's going to get painful, but make sure you have a good work ethic that says I wake up early in the morning, I do what I need to do, I follow up, and someday, at some point, it pays off. One of my biggest uh, passions in work is to build people, to sort of grow people. I try to grow the staff that I have, I try to grow um, friends that I have, find ways in which they they can do better in life. Um, and I think there's one contribution I can say that I've made in people's life is I have tried to make make it easier for them to sort of grow and, and expand their horizons. So I hope that that is what they saw and, and, and decided to nominate me. I want to make life better. You know, we have so many problems. Life is hard for so many people. And it doesn't need to be that way, um, especially here in Africa. We have so many opportunities. We have so much, so many resources. It is actually possible for us to live a very comfortable life. But all that needs to happen is that we need to put in the work and we need to get our ethics right. So I think if I was gonna say what drives me is that I wanna make the world a better place. I wanna make Africa a better place um, in whichever respect I can.